Hello viewers, let's learn about bubble sort today. How to do a bubble sort. So, I'll create an array. Let me create an integer array. And uh, I'll add, I'll initialize it with some numbers. Let me put it two, four, three, eight, seven, six. Five. So I had created an array, and as we can see, this is not sorted. Okay, let me put one as well. So and this is non-sorted array. Let's try to sort this array using the bubble sort. Okay, I'll not go into the theory part. Let's uh, directly do the coding of it. So to do this, I'll in bubble sort for each element, I need to use two loops so that for each element, if we can, we will compare for first element with its next, then same uh, element will be compared with its next, same element will be compared with its next. And if the value, suppose, if two is greater than four, then we'll swap the value, okay? Similarly, in this case, for example, seven is greater than six. So six will come here and seven will come back. Seven will go back. So let's uh, write the code for count equal to zero to to less than er dot <coughs> length er plus Now, as I said, for each element, we'll, we need to loop uh, the complete set so that we can find the exact position of a given element. So I need to use another loop. Now, if we have observed, I'm going from AR dot length till minus one. Why I'm going? Because so that I will not get the uh, array starts from index zero, and uh, we just want to go less than minus one means till last element since it star array starts from index zero. If I'll go till length, then it will give you array index out of bounds. Now, I'll have one. I'll use one temporary variable where I'll keep the first let me compare the elements if So here I'm comparing if this value is greater than this, then I need to swap it. So I will use S and then to swap. I'll keep and then First I put the greater value in the lower one index and then 
I'll put the temporary value into this. And to see that if uh, it is working fine, I'll uh, Here I will be doing system dot out dot print ln I will just use print Let's try to run this So this got sorted, but it's in a different order, but in descending order. Let's try to sort it in ascending order. So as we can see, now this value is sorted. So this is done using bubble sort and the complexity of this will be, the time and space com complexity of this will be big O and a square and into n. Why O and a square? Because there is two loop for one loop we can consider one n and for next loop it is n again so n into n basically it will be n square if we want we can optimize it as well like suppose you have a sorted array then this will not be get excluded so why to uh, have this let's just break the loop in that case what we can do and flag equal to zero and if this happens then flag equal to one and in outer loop I can write if if flag equal to zero then just break so if the list is sorted in that case i don't want this to get executed again and again so i can optimize this part by adding a flag if there is it's there is no change it means the list is already sorted and i don't need to do this again and i don't need to repeat it so i can optimize this bubble sort you like this and if i'll run it you can again see This is the same. Okay, so today we learned how to do a bubble sort. And uh, if you don't understand the bubble sort and um, bubble sort theory part, there are plenty of videos available in on YouTube. You can go through that. This is pure practical example how to do a bubble sort. Thank you, viewers. It is since slow in nature. That's why it, uh, it's not recommended to use bubble sort for any sorting. And in the next video, we'll learn about quick sort for the other sorts as well. So thanks for watching.